looks good, doesn't it? But that is what electrification is bringing to the world of automobiles. An opportunity to expand the horizons of design and style, technology and innovation. And this is exactly where the new BMW iX is breaking new ground. By expanding the horizons for everything automotive that will follow. Be it in terms of design, technology, innovation, performance, range and even ownership. So how do you expand design? Especially something that catches your attention so strongly with what BMW terms monolithic design. The absence of an engine and gearbox allows designers to create a unique area that is devoid of vents and is replaced by this fantastic textured graphic on the grille. Take it a step further. The kidney grille at the front of the car, well, it isn't just an ornament. It's a pretty smart surface because it hides an array of radars, sensors and cameras underneath it. An additional polyurethane coating reduces the kidney grill's susceptibility to damage, giving it a self-healing effect, where its surface can repair scratches within 24 hours at room temperature or through a 5-minute supply of warm air. Wow! Better yet, the spray nozzles to clean the external cameras, they are hidden under the BMW badge in the grill and on the boot lid. The opening at the front also allows you to refill the washer fluid system. This is one of the finest interiors I have ever seen on a BMW or any other car for that matter. It's clean, understated and aesthetically pleasing. Something most people call quiet luxury. My favourite bit though is this floating centre console with that gorgeous glass iDrive unit. Another aspect about the iX that I find quite endearing is its approach to sustainability. And this philosophy stems way back to the i3, BMW's first small electric car which emphasised the use of recycled and sustainable materials. In the iX, this tradition continues. The wood inlays come from FSC certified wood. It comes from forests that are responsibly managed, socially beneficial and environmentally conscious and economically viable. Inside this cabin, you have recycled polyester and nylon that comes from fishing nets recovered from the sea. The cable ducting uses anywhere between 60 to 100% recycled plastic. Even the leather for the upholstery is tanned using an olive leaf extract that comes from olive leaves collected during the pruning of olive trees across Europe. In all, there is around 60 kilos of recycled material in this car, which can be further recycled when the iX is decommissioned. As much as the iX is the powerhouse in motion, it is sensitive about not leaving behind a carbon footprint on the planet. It's also kind of the consumer electronic show on wheels. Take for instance, Shytech, which hides cutting-edge technology until needed. It eliminates the need for physical buttons and controls until you need to use them. Take a look at this wood panel. It looks wooden, but touch it and the poor wood has underlying touch-sensitive buttons that come to life allowing you to control various functions. Similarly, heat is radiated through the dashboard panels using the same open port tech. Even the BMW badge in the grill, it too comes under the shy tech philosophy. And let's not even get to the electrochromic tinted sunroof or the frameless curved infotainment panel whose clarity and crispness needs to be seen to be believed. And check this out. Hey BMW, what's the traffic overview? At the moment the roads are clear in your area. I hope you enjoy driving. Hey BMW, what's the weather like on my route? Current weather at your location. BMW iX also features the Digital Key Plus that can be used in place of a physical key. It allows you to lock and unlock the car using an iPhone that acts as a digital key without unlocking your device or even needing you to open the My BMW app. To start the engine of the iX, you need to place your cell phone on the smartphone tray and press the Start button. You can also share your digital key with up to 5 friends and family members and control how much access you'd like each person to have to your digital key. But what's a BMW if it's not all about the driving experience?
Did you know BMW have been using a tagline for the last 50 years? It claims that their cars are sheer driving pleasure. They're on point in that regard. And even to date, that mantra continues at BMW, especially in this new age of electrification. Car makers are at an advantage where dynamics are concerned, especially in an EV. This is because the batteries that power the electric motor are placed under the floor. Now, this lowers the center of gravity and in the iX, this gives it very stable dynamics and also makes it very easy to maneuver. There is no doubt the BMW iX is fast. It is very, very fast. 6.1 seconds. That is how long the iX takes to get to 100 kilometers per hour. In fact, before I could complete this sentence, the iX would have hit 100 kilometers per hour from standstill. But you should know by now that electric cars are fast. The word electric itself is a dead giveaway. What you wouldn't know is that the BMW iX comes with a 76.6 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is pretty large. Now, on a full 100% charge, that gives you over a claimed 400 plus kilometers of range. That means about a week's driving in a city like Mumbai or four days in, well, the national capital region, which isn't too bad at all. And if you plug it in at a fast charger, a 150 kilowatt charger. 95 kilometers of range can be got in just about 10 minutes. Most days, you won't even have to bother about finding a charger because BMW provides customers with a wall box charging unit that can be easily installed in your home. All those bits about efficient charging and scintillating performance, well, it's just another day at the office for BMW. From the design perspective or engineering or even its features, the iX is fascinating, but it does not end there. No denying the BMW iX is an absolutely fascinating SUV with a fabulous driving experience. Its physical attributes are brilliantly designed and engineered and the BMW iX's approach to sustainability is quite interesting, unique and innovative. But there's more to the iX. Take for instance its running costs which are a sixth of what it takes to run a similarly priced SUV. This does not boil down to just the price of electricity, which to a large extent is much cheaper than petrol. Since there are a few hundred lesser moving parts, maintenance is also much lower. Almost half. No traditional gearbox, no engine, no air intake, no turbochargers, injectors and engine oils. So the overall cost of running your EV is significantly lower. Then there are further benefits. Under the Fame2 policy, there are multiple benefits that get passed on to the consumer. 20 states currently don't charge road taxes on EVs, apart from which you can also avail of benefits on registration. And if you avail of a loan, EV owners can claim a deduction of up to 1.5 lakh on the interest of the vehicle loan. Hold on, we're not done just yet. You can claim up to about 40% depreciation benefits on your EV. So, net result, the cost parity between an EV and an IC is very minute. Suddenly, the iX becomes a very viable and attractive purchase, doesn't it? Oh, time for a quick dip to wind up my day. But hang on, let me check. The My BMW app is an extremely convenient app that allows you to check your vehicle status, track charge status, monitor tyre pressure levels, scheduled service and even remotely unlock or lock your car.